Hello and welcome to the video. In today's video, we are going to be making a 3D printed yo-yo. So basically there are two main types of yo-yos. So right here is a non-responsive yo-yo and then right here is a responsive yo-yo. So those are your two basic yo-yo types, I think. So basically a responsive yo-yo doesn't have a bearing in the middle. So you know it's when it falls, it bounces up on the string. The non-responsive yo-yos do the opposite of that. So there's a bearing on the middle See, so it just spins there. And then the way you get it back up is you have to bind it. So it's a yo-yo trick to get it back up. It's a bit harder, but you can do a whole lot more tricks with it. So basically that's just a short difference between the versions. So basically this has a bearing, this one doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to design a yo-yo design in the CAD software, something in between these two, something similar to that. And I have an extra yo-yo bearing. So. The goal is to create a non-responsive yo-yo. So hopefully, you know, the uh, 3D printed yo-yo works well with my bearing. And yeah, hopefully my bearing still works. And then we're going to see if that works and if it makes a pretty decent non-responsive yo-yo. And then if that doesn't work, I think we could probably turn it into a responsive yo-yo pretty easily if we just take that bearing off and then tie the string around like the area where the bearing would go. So yeah, I think we should be able to make a pretty decent yo-yo. I'm gonna model it on my SolidWorks CAD software and I will show you what that looks like. So yeah, I will go model that now and you will see the software right now. Okay everyone, so right here is the CAD design for the yo-yo. Right here's gonna be the right side. This is where the screw head's gonna go. So you know, right here, it's the end of the yo-yo. We have the channel logo right there and then we have this little hole there for the screw head to sit into its cylinder because you know the screw heads a cylinder and yeah it's going to go through all the way through here so this little shaft here that is going to connect into the other half of the yo-yo on the left side so i will show you that left side now so basically right here is the left side of the yo-yo so like i said right here is where that shaft's going to fit into and then the screw's just going to keep going through that hole it should go out to the end of the yo-yo and then right here we have a hexagon cutout that's because the end of the nut we're going to use is a hexagon so that's going to make it where we can tighten it down easier and then you know we also have the channel logo and channel name right there so basically i put together an like a assembly design so i will show you that right now so basically this is a general idea of what it should look like so right here is the front side you know the right side with the screw head going in so you know we have the same design the screws right there it goes through and then right here's where that shaft connects into the other part of the yo-yo and you know it has a bit of tolerance a bit of wiggle room for it to fit into that way in case it's too tight we won't we would probably have to reprint the entire thing so i gave it a little bit of room just so we probably wouldn't have to reprint so then right here the screw goes all the way through we have the nut right there and then it fits into that hexagon hole pretty well and it should be good enough to where it can tighten down so yeah and then right there we have the channel logo i mean channel name as well so we have it on both sides so hopefully that turns out well when we remove these supports and stuff it's going to fill in on the inside so yeah we're going to go print this and we're going to see how this turns out Okay, so we have just printed the yo-yo. So it's printed out in two halves. 
So basically, this is how this is going to work. I'll give you a, a simplified rundown of what's going to happen here. So basically, we have this spot. The bearing is going to sit on this. There's a hole that goes all the way through it. A screw is going to go through there. That's going to sit in here because we have a hole that kind of meets that. It's going to sit there. Then there's going to be a screw going all the way through it, and the bearing should sit in the middle about like that. So the yo-yo kind of looks like this one. It's honestly a little wider, which I kind of like. I'll just see how it works. It's it's significantly thicker than this one, but diameter wise, it's you know about the same. So that's pretty good. So yeah, we're going to put the bearing on here. Of course, that's after we're gonna remove all the supports and stuff there. I also added the channel name on the inside in here. So hopefully we can clean those supports out and be able to see that. So yeah, we're going to, I guess, clean out the supports and start assembling the yo-yo and then finally get to testing it. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so guys, we just printed this yo-yo right here and we just assembled it. So basically, it is kind of working because I just tested it a minute ago. So this table right here is kind of in the way for me to just, you know, throw it down there. So I have to stand on a stool because my setup for videos is kind of jank. See, so my head literally touches the ceiling, but it's fine because I should be able to throw the yo-yo. So. Hopefully the cameraman catches the yo-yo as I throw it. You know, that way you can see what happens. But it's basically a responsive yo-yo. So if you watch what happens here, it goes down, comes right back up. So I didn't have to perform a bind like you would with a uh, non-responsive yo-yo. So it's a responsive yo-yo. It can sleep. So sometimes it's inconsistent on that. I think it has to do with like how much force you're putting into it when you release it. So like here, see it just bounces right back up. Much like, you know, just a non-sleeping uh, responsive yo-yo but right there it slept and you could bring it right back up so i find that kind of surprising how well this 3d printed yo-yo works so i grabbed that string out of a box of yo-yo strings i had and yeah it's working pretty well honestly kind of surprised so i'm thinking i might print more and i want to see if i have to have that bearing on the inside i kind of doubt it because Really, the bearing in here is not moving much because I put stuff under it and then when you put it up against each other and then kind of put something for their string to catch on the walls of the yo-yo, that bearing doesn't have much room to spin. So I'm thinking if I just remove that bearing completely, I might have a 
non-responsive yo-yo. I mean, a responsive yo-yo, but it doesn't have that bearing in there. So it could be cheaper and easier to make. So, you know, a bit more efficient in terms of material usage. So yeah, I'm thinking so far this is working pretty good. So I'll just show you for reference. That's the 3D printed one. This one is a non 3D printed one. It's just, you know, your basic little like five to five, six dollar yo-yo you get from a store. You know, nothing really absurd, but um, there we go. I have to rewind the string, but it normally works pretty well. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, cool. So it's rewound. So see how it just kind of snaps right back up. It does do it in a more smooth manner, I believe, but that's probably due to weight balancing, honestly. So yeah, see, so this is one like you buy, but for a 3D printed yo-yo, I think that this one does pretty good, honestly. So like I said, I'm gonna probably 3D print another one and try to do it without the bearing on the middle this time. And yeah, so let's go do that. Okay guys, so we just printed another one. This one does not have the bearing, so yeah, I put a rubber band in place of the sandpaper like I had on here, right next to the bearing. So this one doesn't have the bearing, plus it has a rubber band. So basically, it is completely responsive. It doesn't sleep at all from what I can tell. So like, it bounces right back up. But it does it pretty quick. It's, it's pretty good, actually. Because as soon as it hits the bottom, it comes right back up. No problem at all, honestly. So I'm honestly surprised that just a rubber band in the side of it catches the string that well and gets it to come back up so easily. So right there's the, right here's the one that has the rubber band and no bearing. And then just for comparison's sake, I'll use this one here. This is the one with the bearing and it uses sandpaper. Now, the reason I'm using sandpaper instead of a rubber band is because it was hard to fit it in to where it catch the string and not completely stop the bearing. So this will, it'll sleep at the bottom. And if you get a good roll of the string on it, it'll come right back up like it did a few minutes ago in the video. And then you can also just get it to where it pops right back up like the other one. So I'm sure with a better bearing, because this was just like a cheap replacement bearing for another yo-yo I bought off of like Amazon. So if you have like a better yo-yo bearing, Chances are you can get more uh, sleep time and spend time off of it. But I mean, just for a little basic 3D printed yo-yo that has some sleep capability, this one's pretty good. And then this one's a really good uh, responsive yo-yo because it works very well. Now, this one, I can't really do any tricks with it. Like, I'll try to show you. So, like, here. Okay, see, so right there, it flipped back up when I wanted it to kind of sleep. So, you know, it's a bit inconsistent, but it's just something on the user end of thing. See, so you can get it into the position to do some tricks, but you don't have enough spin to get it out. And that's what I was saying, probably with a better bearing, you could get enough, like, spin time to be able to do some tricks and make the yo-yo better. But, yeah, I think for a 3D printed yo-yo, we kind of made two that work. This one has some sleep time. This one doesn't you know, cause this one doesn't have the bearing. So yeah. Um, let me know which yo-yo you all think works better. And if you have interest in wanting to maybe print these yo-yos yourself or something, let me know. And I'll see about putting the uh, files up on Thingiverse or something like that. So yeah, thanks for watching the video guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and let me know other projects I can do in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.